Changing gears today, instead of working on small engines, we're going to be taking this vintage 160C perfection heater and changing out the wick on it. It's a very simple task, but meanwhile, get a 360 degree view of it. And when we open her up, you can easily take out the entire burner assembly. And we're going to start breaking it down and change out the wick. All right, getting started with our wick replacement on the Perfection heater. Most all these Perfection heaters use the AW500 series wick. We generally use the ones from American Wick. Um, to get started, you'll remove your flame spreader, and then second, the gallery. Turn it counterclockwise, remove that, set it aside. Go ahead and turn your wick what's left of it all the way up as far as it'll go and at this point you'll grab the metal base of the wick while turning the handle pull it straight up go ahead and take it out and have something like an old oil pan go ahead and put that in there you'll take your new wick Pull the tails out. You'll have four of them. And the thing to keep in mind when installing the new wick would be to make sure none of the tails are interfering with the float gauge, with the float on your fuel gauge. Line up the feed with the teeth of the gear for your knob and once it's all lined up and you can see where all the tails are going apply pressure downward turn your crank and once it grabs it'll pull it right down Reinstall your gallery. Put your flame spreader back. And just like that, you have changed out the wick on your perfection heater.